Okay, once again, I was working on something here. I thought in my mind maybe I should film this, but then I didn't. So I got this um, little CD player that mounts to the wall, and uh, it just sits like this, and it comes with a bracket, and you can hang it on the wall, and you just snap your CD in like this, and it spins. It's pretty cool, actually. It's got a little remote and uh, Bluetooth and whatnot. But I plugged the thing in, it's powered with USB. So I plugged it into a battery pack, didn't work. Grabbed another battery pack, still didn't work. So I'm like, I'm kind of looking in here and I'm like, well this cord's kind of funky. So I took it apart and checked this out. I'm looking around inside here, trying to figure out if there's a loose wire. I'm gonna give you a second, and I want you to look at this right here and tell me what seems fishy about that and if you recognize it from anywhere. Now, the wire comes out the bottom and directly connects to this and it looks like it's tied off. Do you know how the power switch works on this? Like a lamp. Now, I never in a million years would have ever thought to grab a hold of this cord and rip on it. Um, is that not the strangest thing ever? And now I'm looking at the box here. I didn't exactly, like, take note of that, because why would you pull on the cord? Anyways, um, let's plug it into a battery and see if it works now. Oh, the switch came loose. Oh, I have to turn on the battery. I'm not sure how you know if it's on. Oh. That's, is that not? Who does that? Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you that. Oh, it has an FM radio too. I'm not sure how it works, but... Well, let me put the lid back on and let me find a CD. Um... I don't have any audio CDs. Uh, I think I might have to burn one. Yeah, I do have a computer with a CD burner in it. Um, that's kind of odd. Yeah, I guess I haven't legitimately, I mean, I got a bunch of cassette tapes in here, but I guess I haven't, oh, weird. This little thing on the bottom here is like a headphone jack, I think. Weird. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of cassette tapes here, but I don't think I've legitimately listened to any music CDs in quite some time. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna put the screws back in this and I'm gonna burn a CD and then uh, we'll see how this thing works. All right, I burned a CD. Are you, it's all overexposed. Are you ready to rock out to the sounds of the YouTube audio library? Maybe the CD player part of it's broken. CD. CD. Seems to be having trouble turning the disc. I don't know where the infrared receiver is on this thing. Uh, reboot.
Dang, I think the CD player is broken. It doesn't want to spin. All right, so I took off the little thing that snaps onto the disc. And if you look really closely, you can see there's a wee bit of glue. And I believe that glue is how, how they were holding it on here. But if you notice, it's kind of keeping the shaft from turning the way it should. So, I'm gonna scrape that off there and see if it fixes it. Not quite. Dang, I was hoping that was the problem. Oh well. Well, this thing's going back to Goodwill. <laughs> uh, at least it didn't cost very much.